Greetings and today is a topic which we are going to do is uh, who's coming next in your love life okay so we're going to focus on that thing and for it we're going to we're going to do the pick a card of reading or pick an object whatever you say so okay the objects are still the same just like we have chosen before this reading okay <laughs> um, yeah so yes here we go uh, the first one is uh, this one that is a favorite stick the glue and second one is the pawn starlight perfume talk okay and uh, for who's coming next we got the two objects over here the tarot and the oracle okay so we're going to do the reading with this so let's first connect with the first that is favorite stick okay so we're going to shuffle the cards and let's look at the cards by choosing the favorite stick Let's see what's happening in your love life. One, two, three, okay, and just one more, four. That's it. I'm not going to do a pretty long uh, session now. We might do it maybe if today or tomorrow. Okay, okay. For the oracle, we're going to choose just two cards. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're choosing the cards, and let's now connect with the cards. Okay. So I hope you see them clearly. I put it here. The first card, as you can see, is this one. Okay. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is the sign which you see over here. Now, what is the meaning of this thing? Okay. Well, it's all about the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and this is going to be connected with departure or arrival of something. Okay. Six of Swords is actually about somebody's leaving, okay? Somebody leaves and why? Well, you don't know exactly why is that happening, but there are certain reasons for it, okay? Now, I said the topic is uh, who's coming next and the card is who's going next, okay? <laughs> so, it's opposite, no. It's the thing that you need to understand, okay? Um, see, if your glass is full, you have to first empty it and then you can fill it up. So if you feel that you are with a burden of any kind, okay, the burden could be anything like maybe you are unable to cope up with the situations, maybe you feel that uh, you have a tension of certain kind, maybe you feel that, uh, you know, uh, your job is pretty heavy and likewise. So similarly, if you feel that uh, you connected with somebody who is not into good state of mind, okay, Maybe the person need to be released and likewise then you will be feeling that okay finally i'm feeling relaxed so you know if you're holding on to relationship or holding on to false hopes you know maybe you have got a uh, breakup you know um since so many months and you haven't started dating yet okay if this is your story then you need to be assured that first you need to give up the thought that somebody is going to return and when you give up the thought, then only you'll be able to uh, release and let go. For example, if I give you a true example of my friend, then he was connected with somebody and that somebody um, said that I, I will not be able to cope up with you. And my friend literally started to cry. Okay, he cried a lot. I consoled him. I convinced him that life goes on. He had to move on. So after so many efforts and after so much spiritual help, because he was reading Bhagavad Gita every single day, finally he recovered from it and now he is out to live his life fully. And then he just told me that just before a few days he received a message from that person on LinkedIn whom he got broke up with and said, now I don't feel anything about her. See the tremendous changes. So. If somebody is going away from you, then only the possibility is that somebody is coming back in your life or somebody is coming as a new in your life. Okay. The second card which we see over here is the Princess of Cups. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, here is a different for Princess of Cups and likewise for some uh, tarot. This is all about the Cancer, Scorpio and the Pisces. This is a kind of new love coming in your life. Okay. As you can see, it's all about the water sign, but the green co green color is over here, okay? <laughs> the green attaches with the uh, earth sign prominent, promptly. And cups is all Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But again, here you feel that the person is going to be very attached to you. You can feel that the person will be entertaining you and the person will be delightful to see you, you know? 
I think both of you would love that, uh, would love to see that all your interest got matched. You know, maybe you are into photography, the person could be posing as a model. Maybe um, you are into, uh, you know, engineering. So maybe this person also could be there or the person could be dealing with such kind of thing. So you feel that both of your interests could be matching a bit and uh, both of you could feel that we are like a perfect match to each other. Okay, so that you need to understand that. Princess of Cups is that, that when you feel that this is something which you were looking for but you were not ready. So this is the time for you to understand that yes, there will be a person who will be in your life soon. You don't need to lose your hope. But the person will be there only when you give the person an entrance, right? It's, for example, your, um, your people are coming, your, you know, your relatives are coming and you have locked the door or the door is not opening and you are locked inside what do you think they are gonna do you know so that is the thing which i'm just telling you next car that we see over here is this one that is a chariot okay so the chariot is over here cancer sign and that is all the sign where you need to focus on it somebody is coming drastically and very fast here okay so if you're not ready for it get ready if you wish for it you can do the manifestation you can connect with your god and goddess and just kind of ask them that please let someone be in my life who will be the best option for me and both of us should be pretty satisfied and happy in our exclusive worlds okay so both of you should be fulfilling to each other dreams right and that is the most important thing. You know, when chaos happens, chaos happens when you like the blue and someone else like the yellow. So then the chaos happens. So here you feel that the chair, that means the person is going to be connected with lots of things. So maybe all of a sudden you will get a, a call from somebody who is looking for help. And that person could be your next PF or GF. And then the last card here is that king of coins. So here we see the supremacy. Okay, King of coins totally tells you that. It's all about the connection. Now, here's a pentacle card, Taurus or Capricorn. It is a card where you feel that, yes, the person going to rule on your heart. So if you wanted someone to be in your heart, to reside in your heart, yes, you are. And you're going to uh, welcome that person in your life. Okay. But remember, as the first card is, somebody should have to go. Okay, now we get the two cards. The first one is the cheer up, live in the moment. Yes, see the first card of this oracle gives you the same thing, cheer up. That means this card comes when you are saddened. So if you are saddened already or if you feel that you need to release somebody from your uh, life, you know, it could be your ex or it could be your third person, release them. And then only you'll be able to welcome the new person. And the final card is legends, learn from those who inspire you. Okay. So um, if you are, I just feel that maybe you are a story reader, you might love to read lots of books or you might have such kind of uh, you know, collection of movies on Amazon Prime on Netflix, which you could be um, you know, watching uh, nowadays. Legends, that means what? Learn from those who inspire you, okay? Uh, some people do the thing that I love this person and I won't release this person. Then you are stuck with that kind of energy, right? So what you need to understand is that if somebody needs to go, you need to release them. And if somebody is going to be in your life, welcome them. Okay, so that is the uh, session for you for pile number one. Uh, now let's move on to the second object that is the pawns. Starlight talk. And let me shuffle the cards. We have chosen the pawns, starlight perfume talk. Let me get some cards. We're going to just take four cards. Number one. Okay, number two, three, and just one other card, and that is it. We got the full cards for you, and we got only two cards from the Oracle. So I'm going to shuffle the Oracle, and here we choose just one for the Pawn Starlight. Okay, the two have come, apparently. Okay, so we have the cards over here. Let's now connect with the cards, and let's continue the reading. Okay, so first card, as you see, is 10 of Wands. Whoa, the first card is here, full of something or not. You know, sometimes what 10 of Wands sounds like, it's it's actually the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sag, you can say so. It actually sounds like your stomach is full and now you can't eat more. 
okay maybe you are on a dinner and date and maybe you have eaten a lot already and your lover is saying come on have more have some have this have this and they say oh, no i can't eat anymore okay see this is the kind of thing and reaction you could be giving so um ten of wands now i have given you a practical example if somebody is uh, telling you eat more eat more eat more even for their happiness would you do that tell me no because you can't do it you're physically uh, unable to do that similarly ten of wands is the kind of thing where you are unable to go ahead okay you feel that this is something which i can do i still feel there is a bit hope but that is not going to happen in just a while you need to wait for it maybe three four months and likewise so ten of wands is actually the sign that you need to release somebody okay uh you are holding on to that kind of person uh maybe i think you are very much bored or you are very much uh, into a very manipulative relationship okay and the person is manipulating you and you know that you even understand that that this is always happening in the relationship you are always being manipulated but still you feel that okay okay you know when people are there who say that okay it is for up to some mark but then time changes and you feel that now i can't do it anymore so i think you need to release something i need to uh, get a, to a decision second card is seven of swords so yes this is a kind of sign where it's all about deceiving sign it's all about letting go i think you need to break up with someone sorry i'm going to say you but that is what the card say i'm not about the sugar coating stuff guys the love tarot readers i have gone through and i have you know recently saw their videos they were all the sugar coating that somebody is uh, dying for you somebody is uh, wooing you and trust me this never happens okay and if this happens then it is only the attraction and everybody has gone through the fatal attraction phase when they feel that the person won't be living without me and the next moment they see that the person is talking to somebody else and now they are in a relationship okay so the factual relationship or the fraction relationship are always dead and always arise okay so that doesn't matter seven of swords like where you need to get away from the relationship i don't feel that the person is going to release you in the first uh pile this was something different here i feel that you are like uh, punched up you know you are punched right in on the face and this thing going on this thing is going on right now every day and now you need to release yourself from it okay i just remember uh you know our pagal divana kind of movie and there were two characters okay manilal and uh, aftab shivdasani i don't remember his name but there were two characters and their wives have taken their passports because of that they can't return to their home that is to bharat same thing is happening over here that maybe you are not able to release yourself and because of your stuck so i need to release yourself try whatever you can do if it is what you need to do then only okay because tarot is a guidance and not a kind of exquisite tool that you should do it okay so do you understand that next card that we see over here by the way is a gemini libra aquarius then you see eight of wands again is a kind of sign where you feel that your mind is talking to you okay so maybe it's a kind of communication tool your mind is telling you to do something or not to do something you need to trust your intuitions okay this is all about intuition maybe something could have been happening like your family is telling you to connect with somebody else and your heart is telling no one to connect with somebody else that could be happening in your life and this is what you're experiencing maybe it is all about the fire sign and finally we got the two of coins that is the earth uh, matter the earth sign and that is all about the taurus or capricorn two of coins is like maybe what are you going to do i think it's kind of a dead end for you guys okay and why are you not doing it you know basically if i have to give the kind of understanding then the only sign only understanding which we could get over here is that you're going to choose your own destiny simple if you want to be stuck in relationship earlier you will be and if you want to let someone enter in a relationship you can but looking at the card and all the other cards which we have gone through i just feel that you're not ready to let anyone enter in your love life i'm not going to lie people okay just to hire my views okay this is what i feel and i tell you now we got the two cards see first card is resilience rise above tribulations this is something happening i think um you are into big conflict with somebody else it could be your your family 
maybe you are uh, awaiting for divorce or maybe you're going through a bad patch in your life you feel that this should end probably okay you want it to end and you don't want to have any kind of strains on your mind but something which is happening is that you want it to end somewhere and that is what you could be going through and if you're in pain then you're experiencing pain already and the final card over here is seven deadly sins see humanities destructive trace what is all about i think maybe you have fallen in love with the kind of not so uh simple person you just thought that that person could change your life and yes the life is changing but not for the good and seven deadly sins is like maybe you just fall for someone's facial attributes wow how beautiful the person is but have you ever looked at the heart how beautiful the heart is and if not then maybe you are at the wrong place and that is could be happening in your life so stay tuned this is uh bye for now we'll see much later thank you